Before we get started tonight, I'll ask that everyone join me in bowing our heads as we remember the 2024-2025 Cincinnati Bengals. May they rest in peace. Dear Lord, we ask that you be with the Bengals in death. No fan, no fan base shall have to watch their favorite sons be dead in just five weeks. It's a real shame. But maybe we'll see them again, or maybe we won't. But either way, it'll be in 2025 and 2026. In your name we pray. Amen. <laughs> now, in honor of the release of Joker 2 this weekend, which is apparently as trash as the Ravens' defense, we had to start out with that banger. Man, let's go. It's AFC North football. Ugly wins. Not a typical ugly win. Usually, AFC North ugly wins are, you know, 17 to 15. 13 to 12. I'm still ready for my 13 to 10 loss to the Steelers, by the way. Because, yes, the Ravens have made me care. This is the first time this year that I'm animated in a good way. My wife came in, started handing me Halloween decorations. She's really excited. We bought a house. This is the first time we've been able to really uh, partake in Halloween, giving candy to the kids. She's getting all these decorations for the front porch. She hands me this. She says, you're wearing this Halloween night. I said, fantastic. No problem. I put it on. The next thing I know, witchery all over the place. Dark magic. When we first started dating, she completely jinxed Justin Tucker on a kick. He missed an extra point against the Saints. Ravens fans, you know the game I'm talking about. I still blame her for that. I said, hey, can you uh, use some of that witch mag magic that you have? Because the Bengals are about to just eliminate my soul right here. Sure enough, in the NFL, we have a botched snap. Doesn't happen often, folks. Doesn't happen often. But now, we got the ghost bling. We got my wife's witchcraft. And the Raven season is still alive. Best to leave. Through Christmas, through New Year's, I'll be wearing my ghosts, my ghost chain, for the rest of the season. Because... For the first time since we played the Chiefs in the playoffs, I have life. And how ironic that it comes in a game. Prisoner of the moment, this may be the worst Ravens defense of my lifetime. Not exaggerating. Ever. I'm older than the Ravens. So let's just say this might be the worst Ravens defense ever. Now, I wasn't super locked in when I was a little toddler to the 96, 97, 98, 99 defenses. All right? But this defense is atrocious. And you know what's ironic? The linebackers are good. The pass rush is good. You can't really run on us. The secondary, who has good names. And this is where I get to Zach Orr. But before I start getting the negatives again, because you guys know I'm the type of fan, I'm not going to lie, I feed off negativity. It's very easy for me to get emotional on the negative side. But when a team plays hard, like tonight, like today, I got to go positive. It was ugly. Except for Lamar. No, that was ugly. Lamar was ugly too. Lamar balled out. He went Heisman mode, just like he did against the Chiefs. Tonight it was enough, but it almost wasn't because he fumbled a snap with the game on the line. And then we had to bring the witchcraft in to save the day. Did we sell our souls to win this game? And to put the Bengals six feet under. If so, so be it. But we didn't quit. Every time the Bengals cheesed us. They were scoring so fast. I would look at my phone. Text a couple Ravens fans back. And the next thing I knew the Bengals were in the end zone. Again. It was happening that fast. For what felt like four touchdowns. Straight. And the offense didn't give up. My grit, my grit week, grit game. Lamar, Zay Flowers was getting loose. Finally, who knew? If you get Zay open, he can make some plays. Derrick Henry, was he even on the team in the second half? Overtime. Please stop. We had to. Hey, we had to spread it out. 
to try to get the game to overtime. I understand. Can we stop messing around and just run the ball? The Bengals defense hadn't seen Derrick Henry in an hour and a half. They weren't ready for it. And sure enough, first handoff, he's off for to the races. I got out my seat. You know how you know what the Ravens have to do to get me out of my seat in my old age? Guys, I'm a Wizards fan. Maryland basketball. Maryland football. My team suck. I'm broken. I got out my recliner seeing Derrick Henry run down that sideline. Let's go. I had to cut there. I was starting to sweat. Um, for those of you wondering, well, you're probably an Orioles fan too. I mean, you keep getting swept out the playoffs. Actually, a Red Sox fan. Uh, my dad's from Maine. I grew up watching the Sox with him, so that's my one non-Maryland, non-local team. Uh, that probably will upset some of you. I am a diehard fan, though. Like I, one through the forty-man roster, minor league players, I'm all in. I watch. 120 games a year. Easy. So, they are now also a poverty franchise. So, not much going on for your boy. I'm really relying on the Ravens right now. And they fought through. And it's hard to even really dissect plays after a game like that. Ugly wins better than ugly losses. That's really the main thing I can say. The Washington football team is balling right now. I'm expecting... I'm expecting a loss in a lot of these games, but we just keep playing. The heart that we didn't have against Vegas. Who's not good, guys? They got bodied by the Panthers. They might lose to the Broncos tonight. By the way, the same Panthers team that bodied the Raiders just got hosed. Hoed. Whatever you want to say. To, I know they just lost big to someone. The Bears, 36 to 10 against the Bears. The Ravens are losing the bad teams. The Bills are frauds. I missed last week. Didn't even get to watch the game. Had some personal stuff going on Sunday and Monday. So I didn't have a video. Obviously, I was happy we went into that one with a game plan. We ran it down their throats, reminding everyone that the Bills are frauds. They're not to be taken serious in the AFC. We may have broken them because Houston just gave them another loss. The AFC, the AFC is not wide open because it goes through Kansas City. But other than Kansas City, the team that will challenge them is wide open. The same team that literally we can't even throw the ball going into this game because the offensive line is that bad can still challenge the Chiefs in the AFC this year. Or at least put themselves in a position to be in a game with them. The Bengals are already done. Lamar, 9-1 against Cincinnati. I believe he's now, I think he's 6-1 against Joe Burrow. Tyler Huntley beat the Bengals in the playoffs if it weren't for one of the dumbest plays in playoff history, trying to reach over the goal line. They're annoying. Their offense annoys me because they fry us all the time. Doesn't matter how bad they look. They're playing the Ravens. They start circling our secondary, and it's a wrap. I keep looking at the TV because for the third straight year, I bet on the Phillies to win the World Series. And uh, they're down 2 nothing against the Mets. Already down one game to nothing. Once again, I needed this Ravens victory. Three straight wins. I am hype. I, and you know what's crazy? I can't even watch the game next weekend because uh, one of my best friends is getting married. I got about a five-hour drive back home on Sunday during the game. I'm going to record it. And I'm going to probably do a video on Monday next week. So probably no Sunday video. But I'm going to record the game and still watch it. Because this is just the season it's going to be. There's not going to be comfortable wins. That's a, that's a mindset I have to get used to. That's a mindset some of you might have to get used to. Bengal fans, I don't mean to be disrespectful. I'm actually kind of known for giving respect to our opponents. Hey, it's a division game. You already know we hate each other, so I'm not going to lie to you. But I did say, hey, look, you guys always fry us, our secondary toast, all the time. Props. Best of luck trying to dig your team out of a hole that they've created. If you're a realistic fan like me about my teams, you probably know. You're probably mad like I would be. That, and, th and this... This is why I was so mad when we lost to the Chiefs last year, guys. 
There's no guarantee you'll ever be back. Look at the Bengals. Ravens fans, look at the Bengals. They were America's new darling team. Right? Media still tries to trick themselves into thinking the Bengals and Joe Burrow are, are those guys. They're toast. Two years later. Is it three years? Two or three years, whatever it is. They're in last place. Never got back. This Ravens team is not as good as last year. They just aren't. It's okay. Teams get hot at the right... If we can get hot at the right time, hey, you never know. That's what this three-game win streak has me feeling. But that's why I was so upset when we lost to the Chiefs last year. When we literally, we make two plays on offense, we're in the Super, we're in the Super Bowl. That, that's... And if the defense just stopped, I'm not going to rehash that game. There's no guarantee you'll ever be back. Just look at the Bengals right now and ask Bengals fans. That's a tortured fan base. I feel for you guys. You you guys just heard me list out my teams. I know. I I got it. Ravens fans, That's we got to keep pressure on management, on ownership, coaching. Zach Orr, man, I loved him as a player. I was heartbroken when his career ended. You know how, like, most fans, they love the stars, but then every fan has, like, not average, but, like, the lower-key players that they love? Um, Zach Orr was that dude for me. He is 100% in over his head right now. But it's okay. I mean, that's just to be expected. He, he got... Thrown into a... Phillies just did something. Maybe not. I think the fans are just getting hyped. Just because. Phillies have a great baseball crowd. I think I just got tricked. Or the inning ended, maybe. Um, Wow. What was I talking about? Bengals fans. Ravens? Oh, yeah. Zach Orr. It's going to take some time. I believe the defense will be better by the end of the season unless these guys start getting hurt. I mean, Brandon Stevens, I've given him, I've given him love in other videos, as you guys know. He's always there. He just has terrible ball skills. Wiggins was getting fried today, but he made a big play on... on I can't remember his chaser, Higgins, at the end there. But hit that ball out right at the right time. First round pick, still going to be growing pains. This is the league. Uh, Jalen Armar Davis, who's played uh, like as many games as I have for the Ravens in the three years since he's been drafted. Shout out to him back on the IR. Part of the reason why Stevens uh, has to be a corner. Derrick Henry running down that sideline in overtime. Just it brought me back as a Ravens fan. The, I had I haven't been this rejuvenated since we played Houston in the playoffs last year, fellas. Way to go! Hell of a gutsy performance again. Not a typical AFC North gutsy performance. You just show up and do what you have to do, and we got it done. And shout out Justin Tucker, who is back. Can't say he's all the way back off of one kick. But this also was a dub because of him. 56 yards. Let's go. And let's do a quick out-of-town report. Not as many games because Ravens played at one this week. But you got to love the Vikings moving the 5-0. and The Jets left Sam Darnold for dead. Tried to ruin this man's career. Said, we want old man, 56-year-old Aaron Rodgers instead. After having another failed first-round pick before him. And now Sam Darnold... Hands them that mean L to bring the Vikings to 5-0. and Congratulations to him. Congratulations to you, Vikings fans. You love to see that. Cowboys fans, we need you. The Ravens could be tied for first place after tonight because the Browns are awful. The Bengals are dead. It's already just us and the Steelers. And the Steelers can't score, but the Cowboys, hey, the Cowboys could very well score nine points in Pittsburgh tonight, and I would not be surprised. Patriots are done. 
Dolphins hang, hanging on for dear life. Shout out to the Bears, 3-2. and two. The Washington football team is balling. Jaden Daniels is on a very, very short list of rookie QBs that have been, that have hit the ground running like this. Like, it, I go, I'm sure I'm forgetting someone, but I go like CJ Stroud last year, Patrick Mahomes, and then ironically RG3. I mean, those are the names that come to me for rookies that were this good, this fast. Yes, Lamar got us to the playoffs his first year, but he didn't start that season. And when he did start, we literally just ran the ball. <laughs> like, we had no passing uh, threat. We were running a college offense. And it's okay. It got us to the playoffs. Um, Texans bounce back. Bills are frauds. There was no disrespect to Bills fans. Jacksonville finally got a win against Joe. Oh wow. It's like it's like Joe Cool. The true, the real Joe Cool. 33 through 44, 353 touchdowns. <laughs> Shout out Joe, man. We love him. I'll always love that man. I don't care what any of you guys try to say. I think that's the whole out of town report so far. Yep. Okay. Didn't watch Thursday Night Football. I was locked into the MLB playoffs. I'm a big baseball guy. Um, next week, again, won't be able to watch live. I'll try to still do a video after I watch the recording. It's possible Washington is just better than us, honestly. I'll be interested to see the line. If I had to guess, the Ravens will be minus three. Um, rookie quarterback, we're usually pretty good against. It might be more like minus four or minus four and a half. One thing I'll say is Daniels probably won't – he'll probably have to really throw the ball, which doesn't be seem to be too hard for anyone else to beat us. I don't think I'll have that much success running around against us. But with how bad this defense is right now, uh, is Ngakwe, Ngakwe's – did he play today? I saw 91 out there, which was his number for us the last time he was with us. But I don't think his name ever got called. Yeah, he was. Okay. 91. Yeah, I saw him rushing the pasture a couple of times. It's crazy for a defense to be this bad while, like, you've got good players. But, uh, wow. I mean, I know it's hard to defend the pass in today's NFL, but this is something crazy. This reminds me of those random 2010 years, 2010s years, where we had, like, our whole secondary was practice squad guys, and they were just getting toasted. Today looked like that with a f completely healthy secondary. <laughs> Shout out my wife bringing out the witchcraft. Shout out to my new luck ghost chain. And shout out again to the Ravens for coming through. Shout out to you guys for joining me again on my channel. I really appreciate you. I want to shout out my other channel, as I always do, if you guys like history or national parks. I do all that kind of content on my National Parks channel. I'll link that in the description. You can check that out as well. You can check out my videos about movies and pop culture and all that kind of stuff. Food reviews. I got that going on in my channel as well. Again, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Go Ravens. I can finally say that with some emphasis and some hope this season. And uh, hey, I got a lot of friends. I spent the last nine years in the DMV. I'm back in the Baltimore area now. I got a lot of friends that are Washington football team fans. It should be a fun week. And like I said in a previous video, I don't really consider it to be a rivalry. The fan bases root for the same teams in other sports. We play once every four years. That's just my opinion. But it should be a good game. I know they're really looking forward to it, seeing how they fare against one of the top dogs or traditional top dogs in the AFC. And I'm looking forward to see if we can win four straight games against anyone. With how we look to start the season. That would be phenomenal. But hey, Washington looks good. I can't deny it. So I will see you guys at some point next week, hopefully. Take it easy. Hope you guys have a good, blessed week per usual. Peace.